Welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating world of C programming. Today, we're tackling a question that has puzzled many developers. Why does sequence iteration work in C macros? Let's set the stage. When writing C macros, there's a clever trick known as sequence iteration. It allows us to process a list of arguments one by one. But here's the catch. Tokens are typically not expanded twice in the same scope. So how does this work when we expand our macros? Welcome to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. Let's begin by understanding the concept of sequence iteration in C macros. Sequence iteration allows us to process a list of arguments one by one. In our example, we define a macro called function table that takes a sequence of arguments. This macro uses another macro, cat, to concatenate the arguments with a specific suffix. The key to understanding why the same token can be expanded multiple times lies in the way macros are defined. When function table two is called, it can still expand function table one because of the way the macros are structured. This behavior occurs because the macros are designed to create a recursive expansion. Each time a macro is invoked, it can call another macro, allowing for the iteration over the sequence. In summary, Sequence iteration in C macros works through recursive macro definitions, allowing for multiple expansions of the same token in a controlled manner. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In C, sequence iteration with macros works through a recursive expansion process. First, the macro is expanded non-recursively, except for specific tokens. Then any remaining tokens are expanded recursively. This continues until no changes occur. For example, when using function table with parameters, it expands into a series of function declarations. Each function is defined recursively until all parameters are processed. Finally, after all expansions, the result is a complete list of function declarations, demonstrating how the macro effectively iterates through the sequence. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In C macros, sequence iteration works because all parameter expansions start with the same initial set, called blue set. When you enter a macro like function table, it begins with blue set containing the sequence. As you expand into function table one, the set grows to include additional parameters. Once that expansion is complete, it returns to function table, resetting to the original blue set for the next parameter. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I'll see ya. Have a good one.